What's going on guys and girls? Exciting news today, Microsoft has just revealed what its new AI powered Bing will look like and they've also revealed the new Microsoft Edge which allows you to be able to access their conversational AI model on any website on the internet. If you're unfamiliar with Microsoft products, Bing is the equivalent to Google search and Microsoft Edge is the equivalent to Google Chrome. So Microsoft has introduced a new AI chat box in their Bing searches and also on their browser. So this allows you to be able to search and find content while you're searching like you would on Google, but you also have the ability to search and find content on any website on the internet. If you head over to bing.com, you'll be able to see the new search box. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than the old one, but it pretty much works the same. All you have to do is search up any content um, that you are trying to find information from on Bing. And let's say we wanted to throw a dinner party for six people who are vegetarian. Um, traditionally, we, we would search this up on Microsoft Bing, and this would be the results that you would be able to take a look at. And you would have to sort of go through these specific websites and put all the information together. But the new search feature allows you to be able to have that information all in one place from the chat box. So for this input, which asks about how to throw a dinner party, we can see here that we actually get um, some suggestions from the AI as to how we can satisfy that search query. So as you can see, you're able to get much more customizable search results from Microsoft Bing compared to even the previous Microsoft Bing or the current Google search results. And this is going to be very, very useful for any user because instead of having to go through each and every one of these websites and putting all of the information together, um, this allows you to get all your information in one place. And not only will you be able to get more customizable information, the quality of information which you will be getting back will be much, much higher. So in this example, we asked the AI to suggest a three course menu for people that are vegetarian for the party in which we're throwing. And as you can see here, we got the results. So if you wanted to go a little bit deeper on your search query, you can click on that specific um, suggestion. But as you can see here, we need to get access to the full Microsoft Bing to be able to use these features. But if you wanted to see some examples of how to use Microsoft Bing or things in which you can ask it, here um, are some examples from the Bing website. So you can ask it to create a three course menu, which we just did. You can ask it to help you plan your special anniversary trip. You can ask what art ideas can I do with my kid? You can get workout tips. You can ask the AI to write you a poem. You can ask it to help you plan your fishing trip. You can ask it to help you write a story. Um, you can get some help with coding if you would like. You could ask it to help you find a pet or help you create a quiz. So you have a lot of different use cases when using Bing because it is powered by OpenAI. Pretty much anything you can ask ChatGPT, you'll be able to do the same on Microsoft Bing. And not only can you use Bing's AI powered chat boxes in their searches, you can also use it on any website on the internet. With the integration with Microsoft Edge, you'll be able to use the chat box on any website on the internet. So on every website, you'll have that chat feature which allows you to do a variety of different tasks. So the main one that they highlighted in their demo was the ability to summarize information. So if you're on a web page, you can actually ask the AI to summarize all of that information on that web page and just give you the key points. So this can be very useful for very long documentation, maybe for earnings reports and things like that. You can ask AI to summarize all of the main information and you can actually take that a step further and then ask the AI to compare that information with a competitor. So let's say, for instance, you're taking a look at the Apple earnings report. You can ask um, the AI to summarize all of the key information and then compare that with Microsoft or Google or one of their other competitors. So that's a pretty neat and useful use case that will save you a lot of time. You also have the ability to create different pieces of content while using the chat box. Some other use cases of the chat box integrated with Microsoft Edge are the ability to write emails. So you can use the chat box to create catchy emails. You can ask it to write a list for the best places to visit in a specific area. You can ask it to, as I mentioned earlier, to summarize information. You can also ask it to write um, new pieces of information. So if you want to write a blog post or if you wanted to write social media content, you can use that within the chat box. So because the chat box is built on top of OpenAI's language models, essentially anything that you can do with GPT 3.5 or ChatGPT, you'd be able to have those same use cases and functionality. Now let's take a second to talk and compare Google Bard and Microsoft Bing. 
personally, I do believe that there's going to be space for both of the search engines to um, be able to compete and be able to have really integrated AI search. I do believe that Microsoft and Bing are going to make a pretty decent comeback. I think that they're going to be able to get a lot more users onto Bing compared to years past. And it's definitely going to take some users over from Google. But I do think that both of them are going to have some strengths and some weaknesses. In my opinion, I think the strength of Bing will be um, their integration with OpenAI. I think their ability to create a um, novel content using their AI, the ability to write code, the ability to summarize text, the ability to then um, integrate finding content online with their search and also creating new content. I think that's going to be the real advantage of Microsoft over Google. I think Google's advantage will be within its search. And I think that's because it has a lot of data already. Most websites are already indexed on Google and they already have a lot of traffic. So they will be able to satisfy the search query, I think a lot better compared to Microsoft. But when it comes to their actual um, AI and when it comes to creating new novel content using their AI, I don't think they're gonna be as good as OpenAI because again, um, OpenAI is being used by Microsoft. So to summarize, I think Microsoft will do really well with their open AI integration. I think that they will be able to have a very sophisticated chat box that will give you the outputs that you're looking for, and you'll be able to create a much more novel and high quality content. But I think Google may be better at satisfying the search result because they have a lot of data and information already as to what users are looking for. But that's just my two cents. Who knows what will actually happen? We just have to kind of sit back and see how this AI search engine space unfolds. But it is really exciting. It's nice um, that Bing is now uh, in the party and that we as users have the ability to uh, use all of these different tools. And there's going to be a lot more um, AI tools and AI chat box that will be popping up in the future as more companies try to be competitive. So that's the video for today. Just wanted to do a quick update on Microsoft. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all of these different things that are happening. Things are moving very quickly, so it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.